This video is going to highlight a feature of Cerner Power Chart called Chart Search. To access Chart Search, click on the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner of the screen. From this window, you can search for almost anything you might want to find within the chart. The nice thing about Chart Search is not only does it search structured information, but it can also search through dictated or transcribed documents. The only documents that it cannot search are those that were saved as an image. To use chart search, simply start typing whatever term or terms you might be looking for. Here you can search for items such as medications, In this case, it's going to return documents that mention the term anlodipine or any variation of. So you can see not only is it returning amlodipine, but it also is smart enough to know that amlodipine is Norvask and it is finding any documents that contain these terms. The search results return in an order of most relevant first. The system is trying to determine which documents you might want to see first. However, you can change this to newest documents first or oldest documents first, depending on what you are looking for. You can also refine your search with any of these terms on the left-hand side of the window. If you want to do another search, you can do so right from this window without having to return to the M page. In this case, I'm going to search for TSH. A unique thing about searching for lab results returns not only documents, in which case the lab was mentioned or resulted, but also at the top you can see a view of the actual lab result. In this case, it's a test patient, so we don't have a lot of data returned. But I can click on the lab result and see details. I do believe chart search can be a very powerful tool to find information that might be hidden within a patient's chart.